This family was a farming family and had two sons. Billy is 19 and the younger brother is 10 years old. One day, the neighboring farmer raced onto the farm, demanding to speak to the farmer. The 10-year-old boy responded that his dad went to town. Then I would like to speak with your brother Billy immediately. Once again, the farmer had to be disappointed as Billy went with the young boy's mother to visit Granny. Do you know that your brother Billy has my daughter pregnant? The farmer told the 10-year-old boy. To do the best to run the farm in his father's absence, the 10-year-old boy replied. I see the boy said, I know my dad rent our sheep ram to other farms for 500 bucks to mate with their sheep. And I know that he charges 2,000 bucks for hiring out his bull to other farmers. But I don't know what my father charges for Billy. <laughs> this university student was sharing a flat with a roommate. One day he had a knock on the door. There stood his mother, making a surprise visit. Immediately, his mother noticed his beautiful young roommate. The way the two of them interacted, the mother could only guess that they were in a relationship. The son picked up that his mother was suspicious and whispered to her, we are only roommates, mom, nothing else. Two weeks later, the son phoned his mother and asked, mom, we are missing a golden bracelet. It went missing the night you visited. It was lying on the dining room table. You hadn't by any chance seen it. The mom replied, it's underneath the blankets in her bed. So, where was she sleeping the last two weeks? <laughs> As we all know that men and women are totally different in every aspect. Women laugh at different things than men and appreciate different than men. They see the world differently and experience it differently. Men will probably never understand why this is, but they love them for just how they are. However, sometimes it can be very frustrating. So, this husband despondently said to his wife, we men will never understand how you woman can be so totally different to us. You can be so beautiful, yet so stupid at the same time. The wife responded to this by saying, yes, that is so true. Nature has found a wonderful way to ensure that we are beautiful enough to make you attracted to us. Nature's mistake, however, was then to make us also stupid enough to make us attracted to you men. <laughs> this personal assistant to the managing director complained that her desk has a nasty screw sticking out of it. This screw has been damaging her clothing for some time and after complaining numerous times, no one has done anything about it. Eventually, she got very angry and marched into the MD's office demanding a solution. He apologized and asked her to get a carpenter to fix it on the company's account. But what about my clothes? She asked. Please go and buy a new set of clothing from Petty Cash and put the receipt in the Petty Cash box, the MD proposed. The problem was solved. At the next financial audit, the auditor came to the MD's office to explain a slip found in the petty cash box. It read, $120 for screw on personal assistance desk. <laughs> <laughs> to celebrate 50 years of marriage, this couple booked a golfing weekend at a very expensive golf resort. On the third hole, the husband said to his wife, sweetheart, I have something to confess. About 30 years ago, I had a brief affair. It meant nothing to me, and I hope that you can forgive me. His wife was very hurt, but said, my dearest husband, those days are long past and what we have now is very good. They embraced and kissed. Later that day, on the 15th tee box, the wife said to her husband, before we met, I had a sex change. I used to be a man. Her husband went mad, broke his golf clubs with anger, and threw his bag into the water. You liar, you're a despicable cheat, he shouted. And all these years, you beat me at golf while you were teeing of... from the ladies' tee box. <laughs> Stress is our body's response to pressure. Many different situations or life events can cause stress. 
It is often triggered when we experience something new or unexpected that threatens our sense of self or when we feel we have little control over a situation. We use the word in so many ways, but some stresses are worse than others, especially when these stresses are due to self-made issues. So, this boy asked his father what stress is. He hears people speak about it, but he doesn't understand what it is. His father thinks for a moment how to explain to his son. Then he said, stress is when you have a house, a car, a wife, and a girlfriend and they are all one month late. That is stress. <laughs> this guy was doing shopping when he noticed this attractive woman waving to him from the other side of the deli. He cannot remember where he had seen her before, but since she was very attractive, he walked over to her and said, do we know one another? The woman responded that she thinks he is the father of one of her children. As the men have never been dishonest to his wife, he started to think back to his single years. Then it struck him, and he got shivers down his spine. He shilly asked, Are you that stripper that I made love with in the pool at my friend's bachelor's? I am sorry, but we were all very drunk. The woman looks deeply in his eyes and said, Fortunately, not. I am a teacher and I think your son is in class with me. <laughs> this preacher has been with his congregation for some time and is very much involved with his community. He, however, has been very concerned with the ease with which his community tells lies. So, one day while finishing his service, he said to the congregation that the following week's service would be very applicable to the congregation. He would propose the congregation read Mark chapter 17 in preparation for the following week's service. The congregation dispersed after the service. The following weekend, as the congregation were sitting in church, he asked which of the congregation could get the time to read through Mark chapter 17, as this would make the day's service easier. Half of the congregation lift their hand in a show of acknowledgement. The preacher then said that it will be a long service that morning since the book of Mark only have 16 chapters. <laughs> this very wealthy businessman's wife just had her birthday. As the husband was too busy with work, he forgot about her birthday. As things stand, their relationship was not very well. He knew that the forgotten birthday was a very expensive mistake. That evening when he got home, he said to his wife, so you turned 50, he said. Well, that's a very important milestone. And I was thinking, a brand new Mercedes Benz, a boat cruise and some jewelry. What do you think? The wife sits there not very impressed and said, I would like a divorce, please. The husband's demeanor immediately changes to one of shock, and he said, Well, I was not planning on spending that much money. <laughs> this husband and his wife have had an argument and is in silent treatment mode. It's a game of cat and mouse in the house to see who will give in first. The husband, however, needs to fly to a very important customer meeting the following day. In their household, he is the one battling to get out of bed every morning. Fortunately for him, his wife is up at five every morning to ensure he gets out of bed in time. As he needs to be at the airport early the next day, he decides to write his wife a letter and leave it next to her bed. The letter reads, can you please wake me up at five? Next morning, the husband wake up surprised to see that it is 9 a.m. already. He missed his flight and his meeting. Next to his bed is a letter. It reads, It's 5 a.m. You must wake up. <laughs> 